If Almadria is not in her own room, just where the hell is she? It's possible she may be on the bridge, but I would guess that she's waiting for us elsewhere on the ship. Which means she's most likely chosen a place where she'll have the advantage in a fight. Be careful, guys. I came from an entire family of Danon mages, and that woman murdered all of them. All on her own. I hate to say it, but she's an incredibly powerful astral artist. We already know she specializes in controlling wind astral energy. But on top of that, she might try to sick that monster on us again, too. Right. To that woman, life itself is just a toy for her to play with. Let's make sure we put an end to it. Well, we've only one last place to look. Straight ahead. Almadria. But all alone? Watch yourselves. She's probably planning something. <laughs> I was getting rather tired of waiting around. Oh my, and I see you came along as well, Dan and Witch. Oh, Madria. What's this? I thought you couldn't stand the sight of me. Go on, little one. Show me the full force of that hatred of yours. Otherwise, run and hide like a rat you are. That's enough! How can you smile while causing pain to so many others? That is the way of those who possess great power. The very way we Renans live by. Those with power set the example. And those without are forced to obey. Though you two seem to have forgotten that's the way these things work. And you really think that justifies your actions? You turned all those people into a hollowed sea! What foolishness. It's only natural that the fate of a slave differ from that of its owner. Very well, I admit I did fan the flames just a tad back in Mies. But it wouldn't have mattered in the slightest if there hadn't been a spark to ignite. Without it, my actions would have been fruitless. Ultimately, it was their very own burning hatred that laid them to waste. To say it was all my fault is simply laying blame at the wrong feet. No one's perfect. We all have darkness in our hearts. But the atrocities that you've committed, they're unthinkable! Your heart is nothing but darkness! What a fool! To think time and time again you would challenge Renan authority without so much as an inkling of how things actually work. Such ignorance is why your kind has been enslaved for 300 years. Almadria. Well, if it isn't Lord Dohalim. These people are my allies and friends. I won't let you insult them so. <sighs> My, what a shock. I never would have expected you to claim mere slaves as your companions. If I didn't know any better, I would question your noble lineage. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. A traitor such as yourself hardly deserves to be called a lord. You are nothing compared to Dohalim. Rinwell. He would never stand by and laugh. His people hollowed! Ha! <laughs> what does it matter? You're descended from those who allowed the power and knowledge entrusted to them to wither away. Your pitiful family may have feared it, but I do not. That knowledge and power is all mine to command. And now, you will witness what that power is truly capable of! Mesmold! <laughs> And 
enjoy your meal! <laughs> Such sad eyes, child. Let me reunite you with your parents. Shut up! I'm gonna... You down if it's the very last thing I do! <laughs> That's right. Loathe me. Every step brings you closer to being me! You're wrong! You're wrong! I'm nothing like you! Burn You're the wrong! I'll try yeah. you with a duck! Good crescent! Drive the side! Know your place! Dragon Sword! Ready and rare! Grant me the strength! Wait Come on! Me. I won't save Wait. you! Lion Dragon Form! Uh, uh, the Not on my watch! Grant me the yeah. strength to march on! Yeah. Yeah. Your way. Lionheart! Your uh, uh, incantation uh, ruined! Explosive Ray! Into the shadows! Dragon Form! Mega Ray! Look sharp! Try right. right. like like to Explosive! Stay away! Gemini Eagle Ray! Meteor! You're finished! Stranger to astral arts. I can take care of that. Yeah, take it away. All right, let me out. Here I come. I'm great. Here goes. Try this. Not in your dreams. 
Nice! Now you see what I can do! <laughs> Begin! That looks bad. Wits about you, people. Look where are you going? Explosive ring! In a bind? Here I come! Dragon Lord! Tiger Blade! The winds of judgment blow your way! Fall before it's dead in calamity! Chaotic disaster! So that's the trick up her sleeve. Your astral arms aren't so special. And now, they're mine! Isn't looking good. Armor won't save you. Healing strike. Appreciate it. Present move. I'm out of ammo. Dragon. Where are you going? Take this. Dragon four. Try this. Let me help. Explosive ring. No further. My fault. Oh, it's your I can You're bruised all here. over. Did you even notice? Oh, I'm God. not always going to be around to heal you, you know. Armor. Eagle Into the shadows! Try this! Going in! Magnificent ring! By the power of water! Big one's gone! Here's the healing arm! Oh, oh, Not while I'm around, she isn't! You murdered my mother and father. But I'm not like you. Rinwell. Even now, I hate you. But here I am, unable to let go. Honestly, even if I took my hatred out on you here and now, it wouldn't make me feel any better in the long run. I realize that now. So... 
I won't kill you. I'll take you in, and make damn sure justice is served the right way. You would dare mock me, with your foolish, useless pity? A Danon. Nothing more than a mere slave. I won't allow you to... It's not about what you think. Or being Danon or Renan. Because... You atone for the crimes you committed. And that's all. <laughs> That swordsman again. Oh, Lord Volron, what brings you here? Uh, no, forgive me. I've forgotten myself. Please allow me to make it up to you, my lord. Silence now, uh, uh, wretched snake. Uh, 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 Does it hurt? Uh, it should. That pain is proof you're still alive. Enjoy uh, it. ago, the Lord of Ganeth Haros met a sudden death. His successor was a man by that very name, Volron. And like a restless lover, I've come back for more. Come and find me, if you truly are the Sovereign.
After all this time, I'll be free from this hell. I can finally go home. I doubt I'll ever see this place again. Might as well walk the block once more for old time's sake. As usual, nobody wants to explain anything to me. They just threaten and harass me instead. What does everyone think I am? Some sort of talking pet? They're the ones that dragged me all the way up here in the first place. Bastards. I shouldn't have bothered coming out. Might as well head back to my room.
just wanted to go back. To Dana. To my home. Alfin. Leori. Please, wait, I... I... What was that? <sighs> that... How long ago was that? <sighs> That's right. Shion! I need to find them. Better start looking. Demon Fang! 
Dragon Swarm! Double Demon Fang! Here I come! It's over! This one's all mine! Eat dirt! Dragon Swarm! I'm not done! Dragon Swarm! You're finished! Take this! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! Dragon Swarm! Double Demon Fang! Take this! You're finished! Dragon Swarm! Take this! Dragon Swarm! Blow away! You're mine! Dragon Swarm! Raining Slash! Take this! It's over! It's on! You're finished! You picked the wrong fight! Take this! Well. What happened just now? Normally you'd be able to take that thing with your eyes closed. Uh, thank goodness you're alive. Are you alright? Yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Linwell, where are we? Ganeth Haros, Volron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Luck? If Volron's here, that means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village.
here. Thistleum, it's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty refreshing, huh? The whole town was built by Danan defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area is teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. Say, hey, Alfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. <sighs> I wonder if Alfin's going to be okay. For now, I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. Right. Friends, Hoodle? You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? Hmm? You're saying we should check the Owl Forest? Your friends, Hoodle? Alfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion.
There's something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword and the strange powers you possess, they were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I... Never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maiden they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Nayori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenigus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean... You staged a rebellion? Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. 
Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. <laughs> I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is a tale of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the Crown Contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... <laughs> That's right. Pretty much an antique of a human being. Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter, only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Alfin, stop! Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Listen, what you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. This is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. fight? Do I have the right to go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think?
You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Every new piece of information seems only to yield further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their Sovereign in the first place? <sighs> and then there is the Maiden, a figure so powerful, she's playing yin to the Sovereign's yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. Then again, this all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term Sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen, I may be a traitor among my people, but I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales. And yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Speaking of which, there's something else that I remember from the spirit channeling ceremony. It used the Renis Alma. You're certain? Yes. Or at least that's what they called it. Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. Was I really out that long? Well, I'm only estimating based on historical record. But all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be frank, we have even bigger fish to fry than that. By comparison, the far more important question at hand is... Just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes... We need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost, but I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear, and sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. All this time, I thought it was the worrying about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely, too. I guess all of us are, in one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well... You can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realize what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What about your hometown? Do you know if it's still there? I doubt it. When the Renans invaded, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah. I know how that feels. <clears throat> I have no home to return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been born a mage in the first place. Otherwise, if I hadn't, maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave, with no means to resist. I'd never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? 
Nah, uh I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. After all, who can predict what the future will hold? I guess what I'm trying to say is that with everything that's happened in your past, finding out you're the sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly, I think anyone would be. Rinwa. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering, just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah, all this time you were suffering right in front of me, and I never even knew. I feel like I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still, if you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Poor Xion must be lonely, all by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going. <laughs>